Man, what a beautiful day today is. Sun is shining, blue skies. A lot of people would say, keep your camera at home, wait till evening, wait till that uh, great light at the end of the day. And I would agree with that, but I'm out here right now and I want to take some pictures. And we've got something interesting going on is we've got all of these white puffy clouds. Let me show you here. Look at all those. All those white puffy clouds against that blue sky. I think that makes for an interesting shot in this light because it's just the sun is beaming in here and brightening everything up. But the problem I've got is I want to take a picture of that mountain with those clouds on top of it. And I don't know if I'm going to get that or not. So I've got my, my shot set up here, but I'm just waiting for the clouds to go over that mountain right there. And I've got one, I've got one sitting on the top right now, and I'm just waiting for it to get right in that little gap right there. And then I want to take my shot. I'd really like all of these big puffy clouds to be over that hill, but I think the weather, the air coming off of that mountain right there is keeping the clouds from going around. But we're just gonna wait and see. But that cloud right there is moving into my shot right now. We're gonna see if we can get this. Hang on one second. I gotta move you up here a little closer so you can see what's going on here. All right. What I've got here is I've got my my widest lens that I have, which is an 11 to 16 millimeter. And I've got it at 11 millimeters, which is as wide as it goes. I've got this cactus in front right here, this uh, prickly pear cactus in the foreground. And I'm just waiting. Oh, it's almost there. Oh, I gotta adjust this a little bit. Okay. The reason I'm using such a wide lens is I want a lot of the foreground in, I want the entire mountain in the shot, and I want the sky in the shot. So I've got a wide lens that gets everything where I want it. Here we go. <laughs> what am I shooting this at? It's like, uh, I got it at F18, and the reason for that is I want everything in focus. Uh, the 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 smaller your aperture, the f18, f16, f22, the more, the less depth of field you have and the more things that are in focus. So, well, there's two clouds up there now. See those two clouds right there? If we could wait just a little bit for that one on the left to get above that peak and that one above that peak, that would be kind of cool. So we're just gonna wait here a second and see what we get. Now there's some nasty shadows. You see the nasty shadow on the hill right there? That's of these clouds right here. All of these big puffy ones were right here and they were coming to that hill, but now they're moving over that way and I'm probably not gonna get the shot I want, but that's okay. Look how that shadow is moving up that hill. See how the light is changing? And the shadow is moving up that hill as the cloud is passing in front of the sun. That is really cool stuff. Look at that. Here comes the second one. Now there's a little dot of light in the middle of the mountain right there. If I had my longer lens on and, and zeroed in on a cactus or a rock outcropping up there, that would be an awesome shot because the light is just beaming in there. But you can see the shadow creeping up the hill. A little bit of patience goes a long ways. If you just wait, you'll get the shot you want. But you gotta be ready because look how fast that light is gone. What did that take? 10, 15 seconds? Now this, this, whole, this whole hill, this whole mountain is in shadow. And my other two clouds up on top are busting up and they're going the other direction. I guess they don't want their picture taken. It's okay, we'll look for something else. I got all day. Here comes the next bit of light. See the light coming? You can see it going across the ground. Watch, it's going to go right up that hill. Bigger clouds, moving slower. Here it comes.
That is so cool to watch the light move across the land like that. And it's only because the clouds are moving in front of the sun. If there was no clouds at all, it would just be bright light out here. But the clouds are creating those shadows and you can actually see the light move across the land. I may just put a longer lens on and pick something else out to shoot. And as the light gets to it, hit the shutter. Maybe I'll try that because I think our clouds are avoiding our hill right here. When you're out taking pictures, especially landscape photography, just have a little bit of patience and just wait for the light. That's what we're doing for today. We're just waiting for the light and we're waiting for our, our composition to unfold in front of us. And it's looking like it's going to happen right here. I wanted a real wide shot with the cactus in the, in the foreground, the mountain, and some blue sky, and a big puffy cloud on top of the, on top of the mountain. Look in this camera right here. You can see that those clouds are moving in. These clouds right here are moving in over towards that big one. It's just about in the center of it right now. All right, let's get back out of this video boat here and get back into taking a picture. And let's see what we got here. All right. So we've got that line of clouds that are just coming into the, just coming into the, to the frame right now. I just got to wait and be patient until I get the shot I want. But I can't help myself. I just got to take a shot anyway. So. <laughs> I could probably, I don't know if there's a composition here or not to go this way. Maybe I could turn, while we're waiting for that, maybe I can get one over this way that's nice and wide. Let's look what that looks like. No, that looks real dull and boring. All right. Well, that's not so bad right there. What's that look like if we change that focal length a little bit? Something like that. Let's take that shot. Nope, don't like that one. That's ugly. Delete. All right, let's get back to where we were before we miss our shot here. Get this back to as wide as we can get. Get that leveled up. Focus in there someplace. All right, I just gotta wait. Hopefully it happens, we'll see. Okay, well, we're waiting for our clouds to, to come and fill up our shot over there. I decided to come and take some, see what else I can get shots of. And I found, I found a, a prickly pear cactus right here. And it's underneath this tree. But it's got a uh, prickly pear cactus have, well, there's backlight coming in. Hang on a second. Prickly pear cactuses have paddles on them. They have, they grow paddles on them and they get all kinds of spiny stuff. But once in a while you'll find one that's kind of unique like I did right here. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this shot. I got it framed up pretty tight. And the sun has broken through a cloud over there and is backlighting that little, that little cactus paddle. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool shot. I think I'm going to call this, uh, I like to caption my photos once in a while when I put them on Facebook or Instagram. Part of the process is, is the story that it's telling is, is to caption it or tell a little st story when I post the picture. 
and I think I'm going to call this love is a hurting thing. You'll see why. Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna get. That cloud that I was working on left, kind of broke up, but another one moved in and is right over the peak of the, of the hill. There's some other little light ones coming in. I don't know if they're gonna amount to anything. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Oh, come on, camera work for me. Here we go. Um, Okay, see all these clouds on the, on the left side right here are filling this up, but I, that one right there is one I wanted right above the peak of the hill, and I think that's as close as we're going to get. I'm shooting this at F18, so like I said, so everything is in focus, there's no depth of field issues. The widest lens that I own, it's at 11 millimeters, so we can get everything in here. We get a lot of nice color from the green in the desert, from the rains we've had, things are greened up. The brown, there's some yellow on the hills in there, the bright blue sky, and those white puffy clouds. <laughs> That's a cool shot. Now a lot of guys, a lot of photographers, I shouldn't say guys, a lot of photographers would would that empty space on the right side there, that empty space on the right side where there's no clouds, they would Photoshop some clouds in there to balance that shot out. But that's not the that's not the image I captured today. That's not the scene that I waited for that I saw. That the universe gave me. That's some that's some hippie shit there for you. You positive thinking. You throw stuff out there that you want and it comes back to you. I wanted those clouds over the top of that hill and I didn't think I was gonna get it, so I just I just kind of waited around here a little bit. And they came in. The wind died down a little bit. Turned out to be a cool shot. Now there's some more coming right here. There's some more coming right here. There's a big giant one right there. We'll see if that comes in there. If that happens, and we get some, some clouds on the right side over there, I don't know if you can see that or not. Here, let me show you. See how, see how we have those empty space right up here? The, 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 the photograph is actually weighted heavy on the left side. It's out of balance because all those clouds are over there. If this one comes in there and these come in there, it might be a little better. If so, you'll see it at the end of the video. I'll put it, I'll put it up there for you to see. But this was a good day. I'm glad I came out. Get out and take some pictures. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to see if those clouds come in. i got to get a drink of water out of the truck because I'm a little parched. But that's a cool shot. I don't care what anybody says. So get out and take some pictures and, and just be patient and, and wait for your shot to unfold in front of you. If this is your subject, you want to get a picture of this mountain with the clouds on it, and it may not happen. It may not happen today. That's okay. I had a good day anyway. So, just be patient. Let the light do what it's going to do, and just be ready with your camera. When that opportunity presents itself, it takes a shot. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait right here and see if these giant clouds that are above me right here come over there. And if they do, I'm going to grab another one. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Get out and take some pictures.